Hello everybody, Hunter back with some more Zenless Zone Zero. It's been about five weeks since our last upload of Zenless, where we took on the Sons of Caldon episode, helping out Caesar. Yeah, so we just had a big update. Let's check out the latest story. I can see something new on the L2 tab up there. Let's see, press half free in. Okay. Whatever that is, we figure that out later. Let's check out the story. Yeah, talk to Bella says, so let's do this. Oh, don't you forget to rest early tonight, Wise. You've got things to do tomorrow? Yeah, we need to go to a supplier at Luminous Square early tomorrow. We're not that familiar with this supplier, so he won't prioritize keeping the good stuff for us, so we'll just have to wake up early. Are you going to sleep? Yeah, I'll go sleep. The next day. Luminous Square in front of the HIA Club. So many people at Lumina Square today. Let's see if we can have this on auto. There we go. Uh, faith in! No, that's not Faith in. It's no face. It's not surprising you confused them. Ever since Faith in went quiet, no face has been one of the top proxies. What's so great about no face? Are they really that good? Up against the famed Section 6 with the Void Hunter Miyabi in charge? I'd say no face is out of options. Whoa! Lady Miyabi is here! Not from the rest of Section 6! Well, I recognize some of those. Lady Miyabi! Please step on me! <laughs> oh, Master Master! My heart has something to say to me! No wonder it's so crowded. They're all fans of Section 6. Looks like they're hosting an event here. Should we get out of here? We don't want to be another notch on Section 6's belt like no face. What are you talking about, Belle? We're law-abiding citizens. She's checking us out. What's wrong, Deputy Chief? It's probably just my imagination. But I feel like something is about to happen. Okay, let's see where this is going. Special episode, Virtual Revenge. Beneath the hollow affairs and neutralization department headquarters in New Eridu's throne quarter. Hmm, new update meaning new location, okay. Hey, it's uh, Shuki Shiro from Section 6. Congrats, you sorted out the troublesome case, right? Ah, you're from Section 9. Thank you for your concern regarding that case. There are still some loose ends to tie up. Good job. It must have been pretty rough. The conscious at the case... Oh, sorry, census at the case was that the case required immense intelligence work. As an intelligence officer, your contributions were indispensable. You're too kind. It's just part of my duty. It wasn't too much work, nor... Can I claim the credit alone? It was a team effort. You're always so modest. That's why out of everyone in Section 6, you're my favourite to work with. Oh, by the way, someone was looking for you. Looking? For me? An HIA staff member was just asking me who to contact in Section 6 to discuss cooperation. I didn't even hesitate to tell him you wait for Deputy Chief Tsukishiro Yanagi, she's the only reliable one in Section 6. Please don't say that next time. All of our executive officers are reliable. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, my bad. I didn't think you would be afraid of extra work. Anyway, that HIA guy is probably waiting for you at the Section 6 office. You'd better go meet them as soon as possible. Alright. Can we go through here? How do we get around here? Aha! Actually, new area should be loot boxes around, right? Let's have a look, see. I think we can go up there, right? No. Not seeing any yet. Let's check around behind these peeps. 
Not allowed in here, right? No. We got a new character to play as. Under what are crazy combats like? Come on, dude. It's a executive officer, uh, Sukishiro. Do you want to enter the office? I do. Wonder if this is gonna be like that cat and mouse expansion we had like two months back. Can't get in there. We'll look around all the corners just in case we miss anything. I recognize you, Sukaku. We're back in uh, the police department. Miyabi scroll. Uh, Little to scroll's part, you can make out the pure secrets of clan swordsmanship should you unroll one. Take a look, sure, why not? Let's just skip through this and go. Okay. None from the previous expansion. Hello. You're the HIA rep who booked to discuss cooperation today, right? Uh, yeah. I I'm going to respond clearly and directly, explain why I'm here, and show off my cool professional side. Uh, did you mean to say that out loud? Uh, I'm so sorry. That's me. Uh, I mean, I'm me. I, I mean, I'm the HIA rep. Yes. I swear I didn't sound this stupid when I was practicing in my head, but just thinking about talking with an elite from Section 6 made me... <laughs> Please relax. We're no different from any other task force. Except... Yanagi, can I skip the next chief briefing? I'd like to continue my training of never attending briefings. That training will only get you complaints and a bonus cut. You have to attend the briefing, chief. Nagi, what's this lunchbox with berry a meal written on it? Is it a snack? Can I eat it? No, you can't. That's medicine. Asaba brought it to use as proof when he was pretending he had a stomach ache to get a sick day. What? Deputy Chief, how did you know I was faking it? I mean, how could you accuse me of that? Because the sick leave request you submitted last week had a photo of this exact same box. I've rejected tonight's leave request on behalf of the Chief, so don't forget about your night shift. Turning out the big grin behind her, a mix of immaturity, calm reasoning, and fake sickness, the tall deputy chief and intelligence officer kept her poised. Oh, I didn't get a chance to read it. Forgive me. Now, where were we? Uh, you were saying you're no different from the other task forces? Exactly. Everyone's personalities are just a little more distinct. So let's get to the matter at hand. What did you want to discuss? All right. I'm here on behalf of the HIA to invite Section 6 to participate in a test of our latest next-gen VR system. All the necessary application processes have already been confirmed with the higher-ups. Ah, so that's what it is. Yes, I did receive a note from the department head, assisting our partner organization in refining their new VR system by entering the virtual space as test users to evaluate system performance. But if I remember correctly, it said it would be voluntary. If you'll allow me to ask everyone first... If participating in this means I can skip the briefing, I'm in. Do we get to go to the HIA club? Oh, they've got snacks there! I wanna go! Aha! Doing the VR test means I can skip my shift, right? Count me in. They always come together in moments like this. Alright, as you can see, Section 6 is willing to participate in the VR test. We'll head to the specified address. We look forward to working with you. Fantastic! I'm gonna tell everyone at the office that it was my professional communication skills that got Section 6 to work with us. Maybe I'll even sneak a selfie as a souvenir. <laughs> You're thinking out loud again. And this is a classified area, so taking pictures is prohibited. Gasp! Later, Hall of Special Operations Section 6 arrive at the HIA. Deputy Chief Sukishiro, hello, we are so grateful that everyone from Section 6 could spare some time to assist us in collecting data for the VR system. Thank you so much. I'm in charge of the test today. It's nice to meet you. We should be thanking you. It's very nice to be working with you. Oh, I heard way back that you're Lady Miyabi's most trusted person. 
She's an entrusted almost everything, no, all the paperwork and liaison tasks to you. So it's no exaggeration to say that you're the one who actually bears the responsibilities of the Chief of Section 6. In addition to your duties as an intelligence officer and the daily tasks of the Deputy Chief, you have to do so much in place of the Chief. It must be exhausting living like that, right? When you open your eyes in the morning, you probably don't want to work at all. You're quite straightforward, aren't you? Oh no, I'm sorry, did I come off as too straightforward? Actually, I've always had trouble grasping the sense of distance with my colleagues, which is an issue on my part. It's not the weakness. We have people in Section 6 who are far more set in their ways, but they're all out-and-out -out experts when it comes to completing things in a work domain, and that's good enough. One of my responsibilities is to handle all necessary communications beyond the scope of their job. Huh. Like what we're doing now. Thank you for understanding. Are you here to check up on the test preparations or going? Come on. We're all set up and ready to go here. Just bring in everyone in and we can start the test anytime. I'll be waiting for you at the club. Good. I'll see. I will go and rally everyone. So Kaku really is as cute as a button. Ten years back my precious daughter was also just as innocent and pure. She used to love eating the apples from the garden. Goodness me, what happened to your daughter? Uh, she is now currently studying for a doctorate in EFA physics and only comes home on the weekends and all she talks about is school this, school that. It's not cute at all. Ah, you just wanted to show off about your daughter. Okay, enough about my daughter. Here, Sukaku, have an apple. Oh, thank you. Apple so good. Nagi, you want one too? Sukaku, how many times have I told you that you might get into trouble if you take food brought by normal citizens? Trouble? Don't worry, Nagi. Only livers have powerful detox functions. It doesn't even matter if I eat food that's gone bad. That's not what I meant. If you always gobble down whatever they give you, then your fans will be embarrassed to show up empty-handed in the long run. It will be a burden on them. Oh yeah, that's right. Even though I'm hungry, I don't want to eat anybody out of the house and home. I want everyone to be happy when they come meet me. So Kaku, you're an angel. You're definitely an angel, right? Can I accept all of their gifts? Look. A really pretty hairpin, a new Eridu Guardian badge, and this braided bracelet says Sukaku is 10th cutest in the world. 10th cutest? That's impossible. Also, Sukaku has to be the number one cutest. Well, upon closer inspection, it actually says the cutest. If that's so, then I guess you should wear everyone's gifts then, Sukaku. Ah, awesome. So, Sukaku. The test is ready to begin. Please say goodbye to everybody and come and find me in the club. Sure thing, I'll finish up real soon and then head over. Right, there's one. I'm so happy this is the first time I've ever been so close to Harumasama, sir. You're so handsome, your hair is so soft. That guardian badge on his chest suits you so well. He smells so good. A light herbal aroma. It is pheromones. It's definitely pheromones, right? Mr. Harumasa, tell me, tell me, what type of girls are you into? Do you prefer summer or winter? What brand of shampoo do you usually use? Where do you go to archery practice? Carbon fiber or fiberglass bows? You have an older sister, Hamaru Sama. I really want to be your older sister. How can I be reborn as your older sister? You seem pretty busy there, Saba. Deputy Chief, save me. Save you, I could, but you can't be late for your weekend overtime. And you have to submit your mission report on time. My chest feels tight. What if I just so happen to get sick over the weekend? Goodbye then. Deputy Chief. Okay, whatever you say. Ahem. Our mission is about to begin. Without your bow and arrow, the city may be in grave danger. Tie things up with your fans fast and we'll be waiting for you in the club. As you wish, Chief.
Lady Miyabi, thank you, thank you. You just eliminated the companion hollow that killed my parents. I can now start a new life and it's all thanks to you. I came here just to express my gratitude. I want to become stronger. If I keep working hard, surely I'll be as strong as Lady Miyabi one of these days? How can I get powerful like you, Lady Miyabi? Tell me, how? Wow. Have you been this powerful ever since you were a baby? What runs through your head when you draw your katana? The mysterious of martial power, the ultimate truth, the universe, or just what you're having for lunch? Weird questions. When I draw my blade, I just think about drawing it. That's all. I see. Just like the badge on your chest says, truly a full process worthy of being a new Erudu guardian. What a classic chief thing to say. Yanagi, there you are. The preparations are all ready for the combat test. All preparations have been made. Once you're finished with your duties here, chief, please proceed directly to the club. Hmm, let's split through and get home early. There's still fragments of Nalfo Nalface group at large, but we can't let our guard down. That's what I was thinking. Hopefully we can wrap this test up quick and easy. All right, finally, getting closer to combat. I've noticed everyone, uh, wait, wait, I notified everyone. So now, time for combat, hopefully. Uh, Miss Yanagi. Oh, it's you, long time no see. Uh, Miss Yanagi, do you remember me? Even though we haven't talked directly, I remember there was a period of time when I saw you often. You even helped our staff maintain order when some citizens got a bit too excited, correct? Wow, you have a good memory. I couldn't follow Section 6 schedule recently because I was preparing for an interview. It seems like the interview went well, yes? Yes, I achieved my dream working for the government and the mayor. But that job is in the Vulcan Quarter. I probably won't have time to see everyone from Section 6 anymore. Can I just say that Section 6 has always been my motivation. I want to protect this city just like you all, in my own way. So before I leave, I want to take a photo of all four of you. I know this request is a bit abrupt. Of course, it will be an honor for us. Please wait a moment. I will convey your wish to my colleagues. What a weird uh, mission. <laughs> All right, uh, camera down a bit. There we go, so everybody's in. Save. Whoa, I'll treasure this photo for my whole life. Wait, I, I didn't blink, right? Thank you, thank you, Miss Yanagi. Thank you, Lady Miyabi. Thank you, Little Sukaku, and everyone from Section 6. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Your work in the Vulcan Quarter will definitely go well. She didn't even mention my name just now. Am I the only one who's everyone from Section 6? Do you like being called that? I'll call you that from now on. Tell me, are you genuinely that clueless or the evilest being to grace this world in the last hundred years? When are we going to the HIA club for snacks? It's not for snacks, but for work. I believe they finished up the preparations. I'll go ahead. You all take your time to catch up. All right. Finally get to see what this new character's combat is going to be like. We haven't been here in a while. I'd say probably about five months. Deputy Chief Tsukishiro, you're back. Is everyone from Section 6 ready to go? Yes, they'll be arriving here shortly. Since we have some time before we begin, there's something I'm curious about and would like to ask you if that's all right. Uh, of course. Where would you like to start? Uh, here's my electronic medical record with all my physiological information, and here's my knock-knock ID. Just scan it to add me as a friend. No verification needed. And this is my... Oh, hold on. You misunderstand. I'm not interested in you personally. I just wanted to ask a few technical questions about the test. Uh, I see. Sorry about that. I got a little excited there and misunderstood. <laughs> uh, concealing your tears with laughter just makes you sound even more pitiful. <laughs> he answers the questions one by one with an overly cheerful and simply tearful voice. Later, Yanagi holds a small briefing with her teammates who just want... Oh, just wave goodbye to their fans. Right. Our mission is to collaborate across departments to help the HIA test their latest VR system. 
Basically, the core feature of this new VR system is its unprecedented deep sync with sensory nerves. Simulations with such deep levels of immersion are better at tricking the brain into improved training results by convincing your body that a virtual experience is in fact real and not just visual stimulation. Of course, they've blocked off all pain sensors for this test. The plan is to roll out this new VR platform to public security, the defense force, regular investigators, and even the general public. So a standardized value system needs to be developed. Our task is to enter the simulation and conduct comprehensive battles. The text here will set our combat data as the maximum limit inside the system. Once we finish modeling all the virtual data, our mission will be complete. Any questions? I've got a question. I've already persuaded the staff to help us submit the task report after it's completed, so you'll just need to notify the director when we're done, Chief. No further questions from me. Me! Me! The HIA will provide us with work meals and some snacks. I've asked them to allocate extra for you, Sakaku. Yay! You're the best, Nagi! I have a question as well. No, you may not take any leave. All right then, if there are no further questions... <laughs> Wait, Deputy Chief, I wasn't asking about taking any leave. Oh, <laughs> my mistake. That's odd. Odd? I think it's odd that you know the answer before even hearing the question. If I tried that with the girls in the intelligence unit, they'd think I was stalking them. Okay, so what's your question? How long are we supposed to conduct comprehensive battles? There is no time restriction. It depends on the HIA's requirements. However, based on the design of this test system, the session will end automatically once we defeat all the test monsters. All right, all right, bring it on. What's that book you're holding? It's the technical manual for the VR system. I borrowed it from the staff. Most of the information I just shared came from it. What does it say on page 273? It covers the three methods for initiating safe mode within the system and an analysis of their applicable scenarios. That's weird. You said that without even flipping through the book. Did you memorize the whole thing? If you keep this up, you'll start losing your hair. Yanagi, I want you to be the executor of my estate after I retire. It's a little early to be planning for that, Chief. <laughs> All right, let's put the Testing. strange questions aside and get Give ready to start Give us combat already, come on. Um, Nagi, are there any unknown dangers in this virtual world? Don't worry, the HIA staff will be with us every step of the way. And also, Do you wonder if this is going to be a trap? I'll be here. I'll take care of everyone. That guy has always been really nervous. Do you think he's been trying to trick us into, you know, like, luring us here? Wow, we're allowed back here now. I haven't been back here before. No hidden loot boxes. Okay, let's talk. Eh, uh, come on, talk. Proceed with the VR test now. Yes. Just as it says in the manual, when everyone shouts the key phrase at the same time, the system will start loading up the test stage. The key phrase is... To protect the city, I, Professor Mimi, will become light. To protect the city, I, Professor Mimi, will become light. So your name is Professor Mimi, I take it. Oh no, that's just an example. The cat who lives in our lab is called Professor Mimi. All together then, everyone. To protect the city, I, Oshimi Miyabi, will become the light. To protect the city, I, Asaba Harumasasa, <laughs> will become a light. To protect the city, I, Sukaku, uh, will become the light. To protect the city, I, Sukashiro Yanagi, will become the light. Kind of wish there was a morphin scene or something like that, then, eh? while we were doing all that. <laughs> so, here we go! Finally! Let me see that. It's got a realistic weight, too. All right, then. <laughs> My weapon feels perfect, too. Simulating it to this level, well done. Oh, wow, getting complimented by Biabi. I'll never forget this day. To make testing easier, I've added a progress marker for everyone. Uh -huh. When it turns green, it means the background data collection is done. 
And that's the sign we're done for the day, right? Well then, let's begin Finally, the combat that's test. a new character to play around with. Let's see what your combat's like. Berkeley. Yanagi has two strong stances, Yogan and Kaigan. During combat, Yanagi gains corresponding stance, I see. So, stance bonus increases electric damage, right? Do, 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 and increase Kagan stance, do, 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 pen ratio, special attack. A special attack routine is used after the third or fourth or fifth hit basic attack. It'll trigger as a swift routine. Alright, so you can do combos with the special attack. Hold special meter when it's charged, when the special attacks. Do, 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 do. Let's see, enter, shinobi state. Ch okay, I, I think I get it. Let's do this. The first batch of test targets has been deployed, so it's rebels. They talk less than actual rebels, which is good. Ch Hey, she's kind of nuts. The second batch of test targets has been deployed. It's ethereal! You even know they're fake. Real or fake, evil must be slain. Need to hear public security too? She is kind of insane. Is that a training program for a tolerator? I've always wanted to see what they can do. Right. Yeah. Good, that's an arrow. Perfect coordination. Test target deployed. That was really fun combat. I've seen a robot before. The virtual arena suddenly loses all its deadly aura as the snarling digital enemies freeze in place, striking poses, a slightly distorted voice from the staff echoes through the virtual space. The data has been collected. And that concludes the test. Thank you everyone for your cooperation. Hmm. That was a solid combat simulation. Almost too real. The downside is, it ended too quickly. Now I have to sit through that meeting when we get back. <sighs> I'd much rather slack off here than work overtime. Wait, that's not right. Even though my body's resting, my mind's been working overtime. I haven't slacked off at all! This is cyber overtime! Mental exhaustion! Deputy Chief, what's another way to describe it? Karma. But we did finish sooner than expected. Was the data collection successful? Everything went smoothly. To avoid delaying everyone's work, we accelerated the back-end data modeling process. I didn't realize that was possible. It wasn't listed in the technical manual. Good job, everyone. Do you still want a group photo? Since we're done early, I can arrange that for you. Group photo? What do you mean? Mm-hmm. Didn't you say you wanted to sneak a selfie as a souvenir? Uh, oh, yeah, I did say that. But I know Section 6 is super busy. I wouldn't want to bother you with something so trivial. We could head straight back to hand. Huh? We're heading straight back? But well, what about the meals? Uh, we'll have the meals packed up and delivered to you. I'll bring up the logout menu now. Please hit confirm when you're ready. Thanks. We'll log out right now. I don't trust this guy. I really don't. A se uh, semi-transparent dialogue box. Oh, never mind. You have now logged out of the system. That almost sounds like fairy. <laughs> kind of did, right? Similar voice to fairy. The HIA sincerely thanks everyone for your help. We will definitely be putting Section 6 combat data to good use. I'm just glad we could be of service. It's alright. We'll be off now. Please head to the parking lot. There is an official car waiting for you and we'll take you all back just like how we brought you here. Meanwhile... When are they coming out? I've been waiting here since this morning, and I really want to see Lady Miyabi again. Me too. I've got more questions for the... Haruma Samasa. <laughs> so Kaku must be hungry by now. Should I order her some takeout? 
Citizens, citizens, I understand how passionate you all are. But the Section 6 executive officers have more important official duties and have to go back soon. Even if they didn't, they'd be resting in the club's VIP lounge. So there's no point in waiting here. You won't get any chance to meet them. I didn't expect to see all these people still milling around even after we finished our restocking trip. Anyone in particular you want to wait for? Rather than a person, I'm more interested in learning what the inside the VIP lounge looks like. In the Lumina Square parking lot? It's not just the HIA car that's not here. There's no sign of any vehicles around. I'm certain this is the direction the staff member pointed us towards. Has something happened? Just then, the rest of Section 6 arrive at the parking lot. I don't see any cars. Should we walk back instead? Yeah, let's do it. Let's take a walk and patrol at the same time. Chief Sokaku, aren't you too a little too unfazed? This situation seems fishy any, any way you look at it. Deputy Chief, what do you think? There aren't many possibilities that could, could have led to our current predicament. Let's rule them out one by one then. Agreed. Let's go back and ask the staff what's going on. Alright, got some rewards for that. It's a dog boy. Let's see. Something's popping up on the signal search thing. I'm good. I don't want to do no searches. What are you just doing in this corner? You look unique. If you have any fun ideas, feel free to tell me. We welcome interesting things. Okay. Looks super unique. Hmm. Alright, let's go in and check out. The staff who was hosting us before and the receptionist, they're all gone. Yanagi, don't you find the current situation strange? Even our chief realizes that things are weird, then it truly must be the weirdest of weird. I suggest splitting up to investigate as teams. What do you think, chief? Let's do it. Asaba, you and Sukaku take the stairs. Yeah, Yanagi, come check the inside with me. Got it, Sukaku, come with me. All right, we get to investigate inside the HIA club. So they're protecting the stairs. We're gonna go back in and do some more fighting. I noticed this when we came in. Nobody used them, but all the machines are still on. Everyone gathers together. As expected, it's kind of creepy. This place was bustling just before. But now all of a sudden, there's nobody around. Is this place haunted? What? By you? Asaba? I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. She set me up. There's no point in continuing our investigation here. Let's check outside. I agree with Chief ass Assessment of the situation. If things don't work out, we can just walk back. Huh. I think we might have already come too far for us to just walk back. Cutscene. Am I dreaming? Nagi, how would they know people in Lumina Square? At the Lumina Square, I know the hotspot joint is buzzing like crazy, even at 3 in the morning. Sukaku, children should be in bed by 3. Next time, you are not allowed to go out so late for snacks. I wonder if their minds are still in the virtual reality space that they never actually left. Okay, Nagi. Why are you guys keeping your stand-up comedy routine in a situation this weird? Are you two really that close? Never mind. Though I'm not holding out any hope whatsoever, let's still investigate thoroughly. I'll go check out the shops down there. How about you, Chief? Then I'll go back and double-check the parking lot. Yeah, Nagi, you and Sukaku can keep investigating inside the mall. Alright, let's meet up after the respective investigations to share any discoveries. Did you find anything unusual? 
look, cheap. This tactile path are, are my con uh, coincidence. One of them has to be wrong. What do you mean? You're kidding, right? Deputy Chief, this tactile path goes right across the road and there's no way this traffic like the roulette game is right. Oh, I see. Given how... So it's a glitch in the VR system. It's not going in a line. It's made a shape of a cross. So we are still trapped in the VR system. Are you serious, Deputy Chief? That's so mean. Who do you think has been covering for all your absences? Who's been filling out your leave ex explanations? And who's been handling your vacation requests? Thanks, Chief. I'm sorry for the trouble. Glad you realized because causing trouble, actually, I didn't handle any of that stuff for you. Make sure to get it all done after the mission. Seriously? That's not cool. Yeah. So these are supposed to be lines like this, but they crossed over. I'm just gonna have a quick scope round, see if any loot caches. I don't think there is. I don't see any boxes glowing. None up there. Nope. Okay, let's continue talking to our crew. Sukaku, you next. Hmm, so weird. Anything wrong with the trash cans? I figured out the sandwiches at Lumina Square it must taste awful. That's not quite the problem we're looking for, but go ahead. Why do you think so? Because a lot of people have thrown their sandwiches away. There's a sandwich in the trash with just one bit bite taken. Here's another one with just one bite in the trash. Same with this one and this one, and look at this one too. They're all a bite from the same spot and tossed in the same way. It must be tasty, really, really bad. Everyone to throw it away like that? Could it be that awful? I'm kind of curious about the taste now. No, you're not touching that, and don't go check in the trash cans again. I'll make a nice meal when we get home. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my theory is kind of playing out. We're still in the VR simulation. Okay, me, Abby. What have we got for us? Chief, did you notice anything unusual? Yes, this one is way longer compared to the others. Unusually long. I'll trim it down to the same length. Just one cut will do. Don't destroy public property, Chief. This should be some masterpiece of artistic expression. Then what is it trying to express? Hmm, the tallest tree catches the most wind. Oh, and how can you be so sure? Did you just want to cut it short? See, that makes sense. A very well done artistic expression. I've learned something new. I'm not familiar with Lumina Square. Was the artwork always like this? Inagi never really thought of Lumina Square as a particularly large place before, but with the crowds gone and all the sound smells and warmth vanished, every trace of life and energy stripped away, what was left was oddly I didn't get to finish. It's just like being inside a hollow. Please stop reading my mind, Deputy Chief. This is really starting to scare me. You're scared of an empty square? No, I'm scared of how many times your mommy has seen right through my leave requests. My mommy? I've only got a sister. Let's share our findings on the investigation. Chief, have you got anything? Nothing. No matter how much I wave my sword around, nobody's coming to take a group photo or a selfie. I couldn't find anyone either. Feels like I'd be hiding until my tummy started growling if I played hide and seek here. Uh-huh. My tummy isn't growling. Why? I've been running around investigating all day. Why am I not hungry? Am I... sick? So, Kaku, do you really need to bug the deputy chief with stuff like this? Want to hear my theory about what's going on? Go on. New Eridu has been hit by a deadly plague. <sighs> Everyone must have been evacuated from Lumina Square while we were running those combat tests. As carriers of the virus, we've now been quarantined and cut off from everyone in this big empty square! <laughs> Loud sound rang out like something straight out of an 8pm New Era do soap opera. Her hand raised, trembling silently, his face turned aside a little red. Miss Tsukishiro? You hit me! Not even the chief has I love the before. voice acting. Uh, chief, put your hands Perfect down. Delivery. That wasn't an invitation for you to hit me too! Just because I was talking about the plot from a movie I watched last night doesn't mean you had to hit me. 
My apologies. Did that hurt? Huh? And you're asking me if it hurt? You sound like one of those mean homeroom teachers. Wait. N no. It did not hurt. That's weird. I didn't feel anything. Just as I thought. This empty square we're in. The lack of fans hounding our chief. Sakaku's tummy. Asava's lack of pain. Instead of assuming thousands of people could be teleported away, let's begin with the assumption that the problem here lies with us. Are you saying we're actually... Yes, we're still in the virtual environment. For some reason, we haven't been able to log out. I see. That explains a lot. Our brains? Are they in danger? Yeah. Don't worry. Just in case, I can activate safety mode for everyone. I still remember the method outlined. I've already forgot the line. Something about light. I'm sorry for running my mouth earlier, Deputy Chief. Uh, from now on, I'll fully support you memorizing the manual. And I'll buy you the finest hair conditioner on the market. Okay, get me the latest shampoo from Carliche. All right, team. Let's head back to the HIA club and try to find another way of logging out. I forgot the line. It was something miss and I am the light. See if we can guess it. This, that's all we need is that phrase anyway. Safe mode activated. All right, you're up. Sukaku, come here. Okay, Nagi. Sukaku, Asaba, what's wrong? Whoa, whoa! No, no, no! Nagi, why isn't my body listening to me? Oh, she's right! My body. It's like it's being controlled by something else. What? Chief, are you okay? I'm not. I had the urge to kill you about five minutes ago. Yonagi. Leave it to me, Miyabi. So this truly isn't the real world. Someone's tampered with things, preventing us from leaving. Hollow Special Operations Section 6, Heroes of New Eridu. I'm afraid no one in this world needs your salvation. But Logo, it's... You're going to be trapped here until your brains shut down. Oh... oh. You're finally awake, Sakaku. Feeling pain anywhere? My head still hurts a little. Looks like the pain feedback in the test system has been fully engaged. I'm sorry for being a bit rough earlier. I had to make sure to stop everyone. It's okay, Naki. My headache isn't because of you. More like from earlier. Seems like we're all in the same boat. A massive headache, then losing control and attacking teammates. Now we can be sure our failure to log out of the VR system was not an accident, but a deliberate act. While everyone was unconscious, the enemy sent a threat. Inagi briefly tells her teammates about the confrontation with the unknown voice. That was brazen. Any idea who it could be? It's just speculation at this point, but the fact that the enemy was able to display information in front of us proves they've gained partial control over the VR system. So waiting for rescue isn't a good idea. But if we act recklessly, we might fall into the enemy's trap. But can they really set a trap without even showing up? This is a virtual world, and we're just data entities fully synced with our senses. Whoever controls the system is like a god here. They can do whatever they want. Hmm... The enemy delivered a threat at the risk of exposing their identity. Or, perhaps that's what they want us to believe. What do you mean? As long as we can't figure out what they're capable of, the enemy will seem like a god. They flex their power to scare us, leaving us wondering what they can do within the system. That's their plan. They want to restrict our movements and keep us in check. How did you come to this conclusion, Yanagi? Our enemy threatened to destroy our brains by eliminating our data entities. 
Their attempt to seize control of our bodies and attack our allies was one such effort. But if they had truly seized full control of this system, they could have resorted to far more efficient methods. They could have simply destroyed our data, implanted a virus, ordered us to end ourselves, or even eradicated us along with this realm. But they didn't. So it's very possible they simply can't because they don't have full control over this system. That's possible, but maybe they're just not as devious as you and haven't considered doing it. I'd say that's impossible because they're up against us, Section 6. <sighs> they can't beat us in the real world, so they've gone to great lengths to trap us in the virtual world. We have the most promising Void Hunter in New Eridu, so if I were the enemy, I'd want to take us out quickly. The more they bluff, the more it proves there's still something we can do. You're the most cautious person I know. I've never seen you take action based just on speculation. I think I'm the most cautious person you've ever met, too. What you've just heard are speculations from the most cautious of people. But I'm not taking risks because I'm reckless. Quite the contrary. The situation is dire, and we'll have to take the initiative to survive. Hmm... It's been a while since you spoke to Harumasa in such a serious tone, Yanagi. This reminds me of our first days in Section 6. Everyone, do you trust me? Well, you've laid it all out, and I don't have any other ideas. Like Harumasa said, this is all just speculation without any solid evidence. If we're wrong, things could get worse, and there's no turning back. Aw, Nagi's tail is drooping. Oh wait! Nagi doesn't have a tail! But... I have faith in you. As the Chief, I'll take full responsibility for whatever happens. Just tell us what to do. Thank you, everyone. As for what we should do... I'm sure you all remember in the previous combat test, there were still three monsters left to defeat. Yeah... They said they'd already gotten the data they wanted before we could take them down, right? Exactly. And do you remember the briefing before the operation? About the rules I saw in the user manual? Once all test monsters are defeated, the test will automatically come to an end. Got it. So we need to go back to the test stage and finish off the last three enemies. This is the best approach given the situation. But I'm sure our enemy won't just leave them there like sitting ducks. They have partial control over the system and will stop at nothing to eliminate us. We're just ordinary officers, while our enemy has far more resources and room for error. Are you worried, Naki? No. It's our enemy who should be worried. Are you hearing this, you shady coward? You're messing with the elites of New Eridu. Right. Right, everybody, I am going to be ending the video here for now. We'll continue from here in the next part where we're going to be fa doing some fighting. You know I love the combat in Zenless. It just feels so good. I can't wait to see what combat situations are awaiting us in the next part. So, yeah, bye, everybody. Thanks for dropping in. Hope you enjoyed. I'll be back tomorrow with the next part. So, yeah, bye, all. Take care. See you next time. Bye.